I am Luciana Hartwin. Welcome to The Lilith Verse. As always, if you find value in this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. As a child of Lilith, I'm fascinated by the concept of the divine, that force or energy greater than ourselves that some call God, the goddess, the universe, the creator, or something else entirely. Today, I want to delve into a specific aspect of this, working with a powerful archetype or goddess like Lilith and how our own unverified personal experiences can guide that exploration. Now, Lilith is a figure who has sparked a lot of conversation, you might even say controversy, throughout history. Some see her as a rebellious demon, others as a symbol of untamed female power. But whatever your perspective, there's no denying the captivating energy she represents. Today we'll explore how we can tap into this energy, not through established doctrine, but through a more personal lens, what some call unverified personal gnosis. This is about trusting those inner nudges, dreams, and intuitions that can guide us on our own spiritual journeys. What is unverified personal gnosis? If you've been in pagan circles for any length of time, you might have heard references to unverified personal gnosis, or better known as UPG. But what is it? And why does it matter? The word gnosis comes from the Greek word for knowledge. But in a spiritual context, it goes beyond just facts or information. It's about a deeper kind of knowing, an intuitive understanding that often arises from within. Now, this unverified personal gnosis refers to those moments of insight, those flashes of knowing or even experiences that come to us through dreams, meditation, or other non-traditional means. It's a way of receiving spiritual information that can't be proven by a textbook, scripture, or even someone else's experience. Think of it like this. Established religious doctrine lays out a map of the spiritual landscape with clear paths and landmarks. UPG, on the other hand, is like venturing off the beaten path, exploring by fear and intuition. You might stumble upon hidden waterfalls or breathtaking vistas that others haven't seen. It's important to distinguish UPG from a couple of things. First, it's not the same as established religious doctrine. While some UPG might resonate with existing traditions, it's not bound by them. Second, it's different from channeled messages, where the information supposedly comes from a specific external source. UPG is more about tapping into your own inner wisdom. Now, this focus on personal experience comes with a responsibility. Discernment. Just because something feels true or a dream seems vivid, doesn't mean it's an absolute truth. It's important to approach UPG with a critical mind, considering your own biases and cultural influences. UPG is a powerful tool, but it's best used alongside healthy skepticism and a willingness to learn more. Lilith and Traditional Views Lilith's story stretches back millennia, in ancient Mesopotamia, think present-day Iraq and Kuwait, there are glimpses of her in early texts as a Lilithu, a spirit or demon associated with the wind and sometimes depicted with bird-like features. While the details are scarce, it hints at her powerful and potentially disruptive nature. Fast forward to later Judaic texts, and Lilith's image takes a sharper turn. Here she's often portrayed as a fearsome demon, or even a succubus, a creature who preys on men in their sleep. 
The story of Adam and Eve gets a twist, with some interpretations claiming Lilith as Adam's first wife, who refused to submit to him. This portrayal reflects the patriarchal norms of the time when female independence and sexuality were often seen as threats. Lilith's defiance and association with the knight made her a perfect symbol of the undesirable feminine. It's important to remember that these interpretations weren't set in stone. Lilith remained a complex figure, and there are even some Jewish mystical traditions that view her with a touch of respect, as a powerful force or even a source of feminine wisdom. But for the most part, the domative narrative painted her as a villain. Lilith and Modern Spirituality A Reclaiming The tides began to turn for Lilith in the 20th century, particularly within the burgeoning field of feminist spirituality. Here, a reevaluation of her story took root. Feminist thinkers saw Lilith not as a demon, but as a symbol of rebellion against patriarchal structures. Her refusal to submit to Adam's dominance resonated with women seeking equality and liberation from traditional gender roles. Lilith became an archetype of independence and self-determination. She challenged the idea that women should be subservient, instead representing the power of claiming one's own voice and space. This resonated deeply with women breaking free from societal expectations and forging their own paths. Furthermore, Lilith's association with sexuality was no longer seen as demonic, but as a reclamation of female sexual agency. In contrast to the often shamed portrayal of female desire, Lily embodied the right of women to embrace her sexuality on their own terms. Modern interpretations also highlight Lilith's role as a challenger of social norms. She represents the courage to question established systems and forge a different path. This resonates with anyone who feels ostracized or marginalized for not fitting neatly into societal boxes. Through this lens, Lilith becomes a powerful and inspiring figure. She's no longer a villain but a complex archetype representing the multifaceted nature of the feminine experience. The strength, the independence, the sensuality, and the courage to challenge the status quo. The intersection, Gnosis and Lilith. So how does this concept of unverified personal Gnosis come into play with Lilith? Here's where things get interesting. Traditional religious texts might offer some information about Lilith, but UPG allows you to forge your own connection with her archetype. Think of it as an invitation to explore the essence of what Lilith represents for you. Is it her independence that resonates? Her connection to untamed sexuality? Perhaps it's her courage to challenge the norm. UPG can be a powerful tool to unearth these personal connections. Here are some ways to delve into this exploration. Meditation. Set the intention to connect with the Lilith archetype. Imagine her perspective and see what feelings, images, or symbols arise. This can offer glimpses into the aspects of Lilith that resonate most with you. Journaling. After meditating or simply reflecting on Lilith, write down your thoughts and feelings. What questions do you have for her? What challenges or experiences in your life mirror hers? Journaling can be a powerful tool for processing UPG experiences. Dreams. Lilith, as an archetype connected to the unconscious, might appear in your dreams. Pay attention to the emotions and situations surrounding her dream image. These can offer valuable insights into your own relationship with the themes she embodies. It's important to remember that the insights you receive through UPG are personal 
and subjective. There's no one-size-fits-all answer when it comes to connecting with Lilith. Her archetype might inspire feelings of empowerment for one person, while another might connect with her shadow aspects of rage or defiance. The key is to be open, honest, and discerning with the messages you receive. Unverified personal gnosis isn't about establishing some ultimate truth about Lilith. It's a personal journey of exploration, a way to tap into the power of this archetype and see how it reflects in your own life. Embrace the unique and ever-involving nature of your connection with the goddess Lilith and trust that the insights you gain will empower you on your path. Working with Lilith through Gnosis Practical Exercises Now that we've explored the connection between unverified personal gnosis and Lilith, let's dive into some practical exercises you can try at home. 1. Guided Meditation for Connecting with Lilith's Energy Preparation Find a quiet, comfortable space where you won't be disturbed. Light a candle or incense if it helps create a sacred atmosphere. Put on some headphones with calming music. The meditation. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, allowing your body to relax. Imagine yourself standing in a vast open landscape, perhaps a desert or a wild forest. Feel the power of the untamed nature around you. Invoking Lilith. Call upon Lilith, either by name or with an intention of connecting with the archetype she represents. See if an image or sensation arises. It could be a woman of striking beauty, a powerful animal, or something entirely different. Interaction. Spend some time interacting with this image in your mind. Ask questions. Share your hopes and struggles. Observe how it makes you feel. Does it evoke a sense of empowerment? defiance, or something else. Closing, when you feel ready, gently thank Lilith for her presence and slowly bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Take a few moments to journal about your experiences. 2. Journaling prompts for exploring independence and challenging limitations. Think of a time when you felt truly independent and in control of your own life. Describe the situation and how it made you feel. Have you ever had to challenge societal expectations or ingrained beliefs? How did you do it, and what did you learn from the experience? In what areas of your life do you feel most limited? What steps could you take to break free from these limitations? Lilith is often associated with untamed sexuality. How do you define and embrace your own sexuality, free from societal pressures? Imagine Lilith whispering advice in your ear. What would she tell you about a current challenge or decision you're facing? Dream analysis exercises for Lilith-related symbolism. Keep a dream journal by your bedside and write down your dreams as soon as you wake up, focusing on any recurring themes or symbols. Research common dream symbols associated with independence, rebellion, and female power. When you have a dream that features these symbols, analyze how they relate to your waking life. Did Lilith appear in the dream? If so, how did she interact with you? Remember, dream interpretation is subjective. Look for patterns and personal connections, and trust your intuition when deciphering the messages your dreams may hold. Remember, these are just starting points. Feel free to modify these exercises to fit your own needs and preferences. The most important thing is to be open, curious, and willing to explore the unique connection you have with Lilith through the lens of unverified personal gnosis. Safety and discernment. Trust, but verify. As we've explored 
unverified personal gnosis can be a powerful tool for connecting with the Lilith archetype. But it's important to approach this exploration with a healthy dose of discernment. Here's why. UPG is personal. The insights you receive won't be universally true. What resonates with you may not resonate with someone else. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to your personal gnosis. Beware of biases. We all have unconscious biases shaped by our upbringing, culture, and life experiences. These biases can influence the messages we receive through UPG. Be mindful of these influences and question any messages that seem to reinforce limiting beliefs you might hold. If your UPG experiences become disturbing or overwhelming, take a step back. Ground yourself in reality and seek professional help if needed. Remember, UPG should be empowering, not frightening. Here are some tips for staying grounded while exploring UPG. Fact check your intuition. Did your meditation about Lilith lead you to believe something historically inaccurate? Do some research to confirm or debunk any factual elements that arise in your UPG. Discuss your experiences. Talk to trusted friends or mentors about your UPG experiences. Getting objective feedback can help you discern between intuition and wishful thinking. Maintain a healthy skepticism. Don't blindly accept everything that comes through in your meditations or dreams. Question, analyze, and see if it aligns with your values and goals. In today's video, we've explored the fascinating figure of Lilith and how unverified personal gnosis, UPG, can be a tool for connecting with her archetype. We learned that Lilith has transcended her historical portrayal as a demon, becoming a symbol of independence, female empowerment, and challenging the status quo. Through UPG practices like meditation, journaling, and dream analysis, we can tap into our own unique connection with Lilith's energy. Remember, these insights are personal and subjective. The key is to be open, discerning, and trust your intuition as you explore. Keep exploring your own spiritual journey, wherever that path may take you. There's so much wisdom and power to be discovered within. As always, if you found value in this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Luciana Hartwin. Thank you for joining me today here in the Lilith Verse.